Hey guys, it's Hoops to Me back with another Beast Swarm Simulator video. And today, guys, we've got a new Beast Swarm Simulator code. Yes, another one, guys. Are you sick of codes yet? No way, guys. We love these codes. Just wish they had been like spread out over six months. That would be nice. Let's go, guys. Let's go. I've got the Mondo Chick to do. Oh, don't want to miss out on this. Now, let's go and uh, talk about this Beastmas update, guys. This Beastmas update is definitely confirmed. Uh, yeah, on it is basically working on a whole heap of things. He also talks about some rebalancing as well, guys. So there is that, guys. He's going to be rebalancing things. So people that are OP on certain things, well, maybe things are not going to be as good as they were. But hopefully that means that we're getting a new Mythic B. Yes, that's right. He'd been talking about this for like nearly a year, guys, since the last Mythic Bees come out. He said, yeah, there's more Mythic Bees, and we haven't seen anything. So, uh, yeah, hopefully that means we are getting a Mythic B, and that's why he needs to do the rebalancing. Oh, I just wasted, totally, guys, oh, I just wasted a dice. But how lucky is that? I got the coconuts. How cool. So I'm going to have to do that afterwards. Let's get this Mondo chick done. In fact, let's just throw some stingers at it because I'm a bit over him already. Guys, I got so many things. I got so many things. Now the code, guys, the code. Oh, I can't do it in the Mondo chick at the same time. But uh, I do have lots of things, guys. Let's have a look. Yes, I've got like 8,620 uh, bitter berries, 444 neon berries. If I wanted to make my hive active like 10 times radioactive, I could do that, guys. That's how cool those neon berries are. And you want radioactive bees because, well, they're going to basically mutate into something even better than you've already got. So I've got my hive and I'm thinking, well, you know, I don't want to lose out. Okay, let's get this guy done. Now, usually if I've got my demon mask on, I can get this guy done pretty quickly and get the four by reward uh today not so much guys i did not have time literally it was one minute and i had to go 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 now let's talk about this code guys let's talk about this code the code is black friday yeah i don't know how long it's gonna last for guys and when you redeem that code you're gonna get yourself a bamboo fuel buff yeah that's right so that's yeah that's pretty good guys that's gonna be similar to like using it as a glitter so let's have a look and see if i've got any quests that require the bamboo field so i've got the pine pumpkin patch and blue flower so yeah nothing at the moment so i'm not gonna actually activate that code until i need it and the way you use it like a glitter is basically use a glitter on the field first right and then you basically use that code afterwards and that's a two by buff and then if you wanted to use uh and then after a little bit of time the glitter expires and you've got a two by buff well you put another glitter down and now it's a three by so it's massive grinding on a particular field guys so that's how you use the single field buffs plus you're also getting a capacity code buff as well guys but if you don't have the Star Jelly in the Badge Bearers Hall, uh, well, yes, if you activate this code exactly at the same time as getting in there, well, guess what? You'll have jumping power. Yeah, the Black Bear and all the bears give you a massive amount of jumping power. So you don't even need the Super Boots to get high in places. So that's another quick little tip, guys. Save your buffs that uh, convert into Black Bears. Well, obviously, uh, for when you need a jumping power, too. All right, let's get this guy, guy. Let's get serious here. Let's throw another Stinger down and... And uh, he's almost done. Now, these flames, guys, not exactly exciting. Uh, yeah, for this to work, you kind of need to have a bunch of these spicy bees. And uh, I'm thinking about doing my hive again, guys. I'm doing my hive again. Like, I've got... Oh, there we go, guys. Let's get all this stuff here. Oh, I already got plenty of converters anyway. I really just need the dice. I don't even know why I did this. Oh, that's right. Capacity. I need capacity, guys. Three by capacity. Let's check that out. 1.3 uh, capacity, 1.3 conversion rate, and 10% pollen. So you always get 10% pollen with the Mondo Chick. Now, it has been confirmed that the Mondo Chick is staying, guys. The Mondo Chick is staying. We're probably going to get it right up until Easter. How cool would that be? Uh, yeah. So, yeah, the Mondo Chick is staying. And basically, basically, we've got a new code. A new Beast Swamp Simulator code. Let's go down here. I haven't done the werewolf for a while. Let's get this guy done. And uh, I think one of my quests needs rage tokens. So I like to like uh, run around a bit. So I get a lot of rage tokens beforehand. All right, let's go. Do we get rage tokens? What the? F There's one. Oh, great. There's two rage tokens. Uh, where's my link token? Because I get real lazy. I don't like to pick them up. 
let's get a link token here there it is boom and there they all are guys there they all are so you want uh, bees with link tokens for sure let's go over here see this is what i mean guys see this star jelly here now if you had a black bear morph you could actually just jump up here right so just use your, co your code when you're actually in this room and jump up and get the star jelly because the star jelly is king guys the star jelly is king let's quickly do this a memory match maker match 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 let's go oh great start so yeah well i got some royal jellies guys i got royal jellies. i don't really want strawberries i wouldn't mind those moon charms and i wouldn't mind those so let's keep on going guys oh this is not looking good oh and a glitter great so where's the other glitter right next to it so that would have been a good one to get on this memory matchmaker now i'm going to have to go ahead and get this guy done but i've got 15 converters so what would i normally do guys i would normally go and grind in a field so what did I need? I need the pine tree and I've got my uh, diamond mask, which is perfect for blue uh, harvesting. Yeah, that's right. So let's go up here and see if we get ourselves a boost in the pine forest. And here we go, guys. Oh, yeah, we got it, guys. We got it. That's excellent. So, yeah, quickest way to get over there is to use the teleporter, obviously, and then go down here, grab that, and boom, you're over in the pine field. So that's pretty easy. So now we're in the pine field, guys. Well, you're just going to do another Bucko B quest here because, uh, yeah, on it talks about a bunch of things getting updated, uh, things he's been working on. Now, we've seen that there's uh, some potential clubhouses for the blue and red bees but you have to have 250 bucko b or riley b quest done to get into those clubhouses yes so that's a lot guys that's a lot let's put some uh, buffs down here because this is going to take forever uh let's go i don't want yeah i'm not going to use the purple potion guys i do not use purple potions unless i really need to so oh i've got plenty of uh jelly beans as well let's uh let's just do the standard oil enzymes and because there's a bit of white in this field i also put one of those down as well so that's all i pretty much need um and i've got a bunch of these things in fact let's go and put a glitter down why not guys why not let's get this done quickly how much do we actually need here oh we only need 1.7 million guys no, 1.7 billion. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Yeah, when you're a little bit pro, uh, the numbers keep going up, which is not much fun. Now, I'm going to talk to you about my uh, grinding method in another video, guys, because everybody, like, does things differently. I guess I could shift lock. I don't have a tablet, uh, so I don't have a touch screen, and it probably is a lot easier to do. Uh, yeah, actually, I haven't used this as well, guys. Uh, I've got a boost. Now, if you use the marshmallow bee for a plus 50% capacity, you've got your diamond mask. Well, your capacity is going to be out of the roof. Let's have a look here and see if we can see our capacity. Ah, uh, there we go. Capacity multiplier, 4,875%, guys. That is amazing. And I've got the biggest backpack as well. So, like, times are good. Let's see. Uh, yeah, that's a big number. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. So, uh, this is the best time to use your converters when you've got a massive amount of capacity as well. Oh, there's a jelly bean on the field. That's excellent. I'm going to put one of those down in just a moment. As soon as I get the uh, windstorm, that's when I usually put the jelly beans down, guys, because, well, that's the best way to pick them up. I mean, like, I can run around on the field, but I'm busy. I got busy things to do, guys. I got busy things to do. So, let's just get this going. And then we'll just take off, right? Let's watch this go. Now, my hive is probably based on blue bees a little bit more. I want to get this hive sorted out. The reason why I have a balanced hive, guys, is simply because, well, I basically like to do quests. And having a balanced hive is really good because sometimes you've got to pick up the red tokens or the blue tokens or the white tokens. And you can't do that if you've got a one-color hive. So that doesn't really work too well. Okay, now we've got a bit of a boost here. Let's get these jelly beans out, guys. Let's get these out. There's the windstorm there. And now look at that, guys. Boom. Let's get this going. And now we're actually at uh, 21 million per second. So that's pretty good. And I've only used the blue extract, guys. Literally, oh boy, this is good timing, guys. This is good. Timing, they're 30 now. That's pretty good numbers for me. Like, I'm not a super pro doing 1 trillion a second, guys. I'm a bit suspect about all these super pros, to be honest. Uh, I feel like there's, like, a little bit of a glitch that they're um, using. So don't worry, guys. Uh, yeah, it all just is normal. Just for normal people, yeah, these are reasonable numbers. So... Alright, so I don't know how much more of this uh, particular thing I have to get. Let's have a look. 
Uh, oh, pine tree buff. See, guys, I've already finished it, right? So that's the bucko bee done. So rather than finish this off, I'm going to race down to the bucko bee because guess what, guys? There's probably going to be another blue quest or something I have to do. So let's go and see how many we have done already. Uh, if we go over here and click on bucko bee. Now, every five quests, guys, you get a bonus. Now, the way you can talk to bucko bee is to get your translators. But I still suggest doing the stick bug first because you're going to get a lot more more rewards quicker guys you're only going to get like one extract uh how many have i done here guys i've done 149 so that's not bad that's not bad at all and let's just go here and now a little, another little tip guys uh if you have to get rid of something just use this uh converter at the top here it's only one ticket guys it's only one ticket and you know you're going to save your converters for the massive grinding that you want to do so look guys i'm going to have like 600 billion honey guys i'm going to have 600 billion honey today i need to do one of three things one is buy a whole heap of royal jelly and change my hive two is to go to the star amulets hall and get myself a double passive yeah that's right at the moment I've got a really crappy one it's actually the guiding star which you know is boring and I want to get the um, well I want to get some others so I can spend a lot of honey trying to get that it's like 10 billion honey per shot uh, I could spend all my money that way another way I could spend it actually guys is to yeah I could actually go and upgrade my hive yeah I've got a level 14 hive and I'm thinking about upgrading to level 15 yes that would be amazing as well that would be pretty cool, guys. So, look, there's a couple of options I've got. Uh, yeah, I could just have a lot of royal jellies, guys, and literally just change my whole hive and get something amazing. That's something I could do as well. So, let me know in the comments down below, guys, what you think I should do for my next video. Should I go ahead and upgrade my hive? I think I should. But if you guys think I should do something completely different, well, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, guys, that's all we've got time for today. Use that code wisely. I think it might only be like lasting for a couple of days. So you want to get onto it like really quickly, but definitely use it uh, in one of the fuel boosts as you need it. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got time for today. I'm going to keep grinding in this field. And until next time, it's bye for now.